In this lecture, we will address the second tool of process, check sheets. These are the topics that we will cover under this lecture. First, what is a check sheet? Then, we will understand why do we even use check sheet. Thirdly, we will see when check sheets should be used. Why do we use a checklist? And finally, we will see an example of a check sheet. The first question is, what is a check sheet? A check sheet is a data collection form used to manually tally and record the number of the observations or occurrences of certain events during a specific time period. What it means is, a check sheet is a structured template used to collect data at the location where the data is generated in real time. It includes clear and full descriptions of what data is required, including the unit of measure and it also includes operational definitions. This ensures data is collected the same way every time. Now let's answer the second question. Why do we use the check sheet? We use check sheets because it is a simple and effective way to collect data to understand our process better, or collect information about areas that you want to investigate further in your project efforts. For example, cycle times, errors, volumes, etc. We use check sheets after we have mapped our process. The check sheet collects data about the performance of the process. The check sheet is a simple and effective way to collect data to understand our process better or facilitate exploration of areas we want to investigate further. The point we need to remember is the check sheet collects data to evaluate the performance of the process. Let's move to the third question. When should check sheets be used? We use check sheets when a valuable tool for collecting data is not available from a system or other pre-existing sources. We need to take observation and collect data repeatedly in the same way every time. These are the two reasons why we used checklist. Now let's see a practical example. Suppose we have this scenario. We have a production plant which is making water bottles, and these water bottles are in three different sizes 250 ml, 750 ml, and 1000 ml. We have these defects to look for. If the bottle has any scratches, are their capes loose? Are they labeled properly? Is the volume correct? And are there any leakages? The inspector is getting these bottles and looking at the defects and recording those defects in this check sheet. Now suppose we are inspecting a 250 ml bottle and there is a receding of the inspector. 250 ml bottle has two scratches. Two 250 ml bottles had loose caps. Five bottles had wrong labels. The volume of one of the bottles was not correct and one bottle had a leakage issue. The total defect sum is 11 here. Similarly, we go to the recording for the other two bottles, and their total defects are 12 and 13. So in total, we have 36 defects. This is how a check sheet works, and by seeing it we can easily get the complete picture of the defects. These are the topics we covered under check sheet topic. What is a check sheet? Why do we use a check sheet? When should check sheets be used? Why do we use a checklist? And then we covered some examples of it. With this, the lecture ends. Thank you.